Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, first uh, I want uh, to know you better. So, uh, okay. If, uh, if you agree, uh, can you introduce me, introduce yourself to me? Uh, Ahmed Jawad uh, Wafa. Uh, hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, hello? yes. Yes, Ahmad Javad, Mr. Ahmad Javad. Uh, thank you very much and uh, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, my name is Jawad Wafa. Uh, I'm attending this online MBA since uh, October 2011 from Bamiyan, Afghanistan. Uh, I'm working for uh, UNICEF, UN Refugee Agency, and we, we are mainly supporting the voluntary return and uh, protection and also doing some uh, reintegration projects for Afghan refugees who are coming from Iran and Pakistan. I'm actually coming from a legal background, uh, I have to say this, uh, but uh, I have uh, quite extensive past and present, present experience in business. Uh, by taking this in MBA, I'm actually building on my management skills, uh, which remain one of my top learning objectives, which I have agreed with my office and with my uh, top supervisors. I'm actually managing uh, a small office, uh, provincial office in, in, in Bamiyan province of Afghanistan. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So next one, uh, I don't know, Mr. or Mrs. Ackman? Can you introduce for me? Mr. or Mrs. Ackman. Okay, maybe he or she not available just now. Okay. Mr. or Mrs. Ashif Ahmed. Hey, uh, Miss Poman is for the Miss Ashif Ahmed, as you see. Uh, there is no microphone on, uh, on, on her headset, so you can get my microphone and pass it to her, please. You can right click on her. To Akmal or Mr. Ahmed? No, I can't. You can right click on, on the iPhone right, right. and, and pass the mic. Hello, Ms. Beckman? Hello? I cannot hear you clearly. Can you speak uh, loudly? Okay, for uh, for the next. Hello. Okay, uh, maybe Mr. Akmal uh, cannot hear us, uh, so I think the next one is uh, Mr. Ashif Ahmed. Do you hear me? Mr. Ashif Ahmed, can you introduce yourself for us?
Hello. Hello, Mr. Navid Mekal. Yeah, this is uh, Navid Mekal. Um, okay, can um, you introduce yourself? Thank you. Uh, nice to meet you, uh, Ms. Sarah uh, Fogani and the uh, other colleagues. Um, uh, as you know, you see my name is Navid Mekal and uh, I'm working as the uh, coordination officer for the United Nations Assistant Mission in Afghanistan. And uh, um, uh, what gave me this um, uh, to start this MBA program uh, to learn about uh, uh, management, uh, master of business administration, because of my past experience working in different fields of uh, management, uh, working as project officer, research officer, and so on. So recently working with the United Nations, uh, as you know, working uh, in a multicultural and uh, environment with the different uh, professions, uh, you need to have uh, higher skills and knowledge. So to understand your work and also to to be able to work efficiently and effectively uh, performing your management activities. And um, uh, because of that, uh, I was interested to start the MBA with um, uh, Worldwide Science Malaysia. And uh, I'm glad to have uh, to be in this class today and to learn more from, from you and other classmates. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, next one. Uh, I try to pass mic to another person. Mr. or Mrs. Uh, Zalmai Nawabi. Hello. Good evening to everyone. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh, this is Zalmai Nawabi. I'm living in Herat province, western part of Afghanistan. I've got my bachelor degree from Indira Gandhi National Open University and I'm working with United Nations. I have over eight years of work experience in program management and in the field. Uh, the reason that I uh, enrolled in this uh, in this uh, program is to upgrade my knowledge, uh, to learn more from your expertise and also from the classmates. My expectation from this class would be to understand more the concepts and approaches of methodologies of research. And I also expect that, you know, more reference books or e-books are being uh, shared with us, including the slides, so that it would be good for our future references. I hope that I can learn from day to day, and uh, uh, I hope to get more and to improve my professionalism and technical know-how uh, in terms of management, in terms of, you know, uh, uh, overall, uh, you know, uh, operations. Is there any question that I can answer? Uh, no, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, I hope that we can continue and to learn more from each other. Okay. Uh, I think... Uh, Mr. Navid, uh, Michael wants to talk again. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Okay. Navid. Uh, yes, I hear you, uh, Ms. Sarah and colleagues. Uh, 
I want to say that uh, another of our classmates uh, that also started the um, MBA class with the Worldwide Science Malaysia is with me. Uh, we are using this one computer, so uh, you might not see his name there. Uh, uh, his name is Mohamed Riyasi. I, I give the mic to him to introduce himself as well to everyone. Okay, no problem. Okay, it's so good. Okay, no problem. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm happy to be among all of you. My name is Hamid Ghiyasi, and I'm working uh, as a program, national program officer with uh, United Nations Assistant Mission in Afghanistan. And I have uh, work experience of uh, around 10 years uh, and with uh, UN agencies. Uh, in different, different uh, fields of work. And uh, the reason I've joined this uh, online uh, MBA is to uh, strengthen and improve my knowledge of uh, management. And I'm happy to be among you and learn from uh, all colleagues uh, here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Too. OK, if there is a. Anyone who wants to introduce? Mr. Barak, I think. Hello, Mr. Barak? Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah. Okay, well, I Your voice is not clear. Uh, would you please? Let's speak loudly. Some uh, information about me in uh, the chat box because uh, the uh, internet is not uh, very good here and uh, the, the, the voice is going and coming. So. Okay. So uh, I am uh, Dr. Nader Borak uh, working with. Uh, Civil Service Commission of Afghanistan uh, with the UC uh, project as a program coordinator. Uh, it's my uh, third semester degree, uh, and also <coughs> I am working on my PhD from Atlantic International University. And uh, my expectation from this uh, uh, research methodology course is that uh, it will match support me in my PhD, as uh, you better know that. Uh, it's all research, and uh, and I think uh, I will get uh, the necessary uh, uh, skills to complete my PhD. Okay, Mr. Barak, because the most of the students uh, send the message that they cannot hear you as your system is down, uh, so if it's possible, uh, we will. Uh, you will introduce yourself next time. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, okay, thank you because I cannot hear you as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think uh, it's better we start our class now after you're uh, introducing. Uh, so. Again, uh, I say hello and good evening to everyone. My name is uh, Sara Fogani. I'm a PhD student at University Technology Malaysia. Uh, about my background education, uh, I have a Bachelor of Economics uh, from one of the public universities in Iran, Tehran, uh, called Allah Metaba Tabai. And then uh, my MBA degree uh, from University of Technology Malaysia. The field of uh, my MBA uh, is a strategic management. And uh, I have started my PhD uh, from last year, uh, again in field of strategic management. And uh, the topic of my thesis uh, include strategic management, international business, and also SME meaning small and medium enterprises. Uh, so my topic is uh, cluster-based SMEs and uh, strategies 
uh, for globalization in selected Asian countries. And uh, I hope uh, I can uh, help you and we all uh, together uh, can do our research. As uh, most of you, uh, I think uh, you're, you want to do your research in a strategic management field. So I hope this class can help you. Uh, today uh, we want to have a discussion about research methodology. So uh, today class, uh, the slides uh, provide you that uh, you can get, give uh, some information about the whole of the research methodology, the background. Uh, next class, uh, by next class, uh, we will do a step by step the all uh, parts of research. We will start from the topic, how we can choose your topic, and then finish with your write-up, okay? But today, just uh, we give you, uh, I give you some uh, information about research methodology as a whole, as overview, okay? Hello? Okay, I should mute. All right. Okay, Mr. Barak, please unmute. Okay. All right. Uh, the outline of today's class is uh, meaning of research, dimension of research, scientific research, and introduction to research process, and of course, the business and management research as we uh, you are doing your MBA, so we focus on business and management research. Uh, and this class, this course, will help you undertake research by being clear about what you are doing, why are you doing this, and associated implication of what are you about to do. So I think uh, the most important thing uh, for research uh, is that you know what you want to do. If you choose your topic correctly and right, it means that you have done, uh, you will done, uh, you will do the half of your research. So I ask you to don't uh, make rush and uh, want to do your research very quickly and finish it. Just think about the topic first and you think about that uh, from where you want to start and uh, uh, where you want to stop your research. And if you do this, you mean half of your research done, OK? And after that, uh, you can write it. So uh, what is the research? How to do research? Research uh, is all about addressing an issue, uh, an issue, or asking and answering question, or solving a problem. So when you want to do a research, you should think about these three points. You want to address an issue, or you want to ask and answer a question, or you want to solve a problem, which of them. After that, when you find one of these uh, points, you can do your research. So when you want to find that which of them you want to do, so you should talk with the people who want or need your study. This is very important. If you have a very good topic, but uh, you cannot uh, publish it or you cannot uh, give point and beneficial uh, to other people, it doesn't uh, work, OK? So you should talk to the people, uh, to the expert, to the specialist, uh, everyone that you think can help you, and uh, make sure that your study will be worth Okay, and because of this, uh, you should find out what already known about it. Uh, if you choose the topic, uh, you should do a lot of, uh, you know, lots of uh, re uh, reading, uh, journal, and article that you can understand uh, before you people uh, what have done. Okay, and after that, uh, now you are in which stage? Uh, then you can start your research. So read the reviews, uh, read the previous uh, people reviews, article, journal is very important for you. And then, after, of course, you should plan and cost 
and do your study. Okay, uh, so uh, as I mentioned before, finding a good question or problem or address the right issue is very crucial to your research. So if you have a good supervisor, if you have a good colleague, if you know someone knowledgeable and practical or someone has uh, experience and is practical, it can help you too much, okay? And uh, again and again, I mentioned this, that you should read journal articles and find out that uh, previous people what have done and you should do what. And uh, the, one of the easy way you can find that uh, your topic uh, is this way, that when you read the journal and article, in the last part, uh, you see that uh, authors uh, mentioned that uh, future research, or for example, they mention conclusion of future research, or for example, they mention research and uh, recommendation of future research. This part is very important for you, because uh, at this part, you can get the idea that what is the future research, so how can you start, and from which point you can start, and going on, okay? And the other point that I want to uh, tell you, uh, because uh, your research is in academic area, so in academic research, uh, there is uh, one rule, and that is uh, that in academic, uh, uh, you publish or perish, meaning that when you publish your research, meaning you are alive. When you don't publish, meaning you die. So uh, you should do your, you should publish your uh, thesis and research, or you can uh, give it to company, or for example, based on your topic, uh, that they can use it. You know, you can uh, have implication of that. Uh, if just write and uh, put in your case, no points for you because you do academic research. You want to help people. You want to create knowledge, you want to share your knowledge. So uh, when people can get your idea, when you put it in your case, uh, nothing happened. So you should publish it. From the first, always you try to have some person to listen to your uh, research. You do the research that you be sure that there are some people uh, on the, you know, in front of the door that they want your research to use it, to hear it, to apply it, okay? This is a very important point, I think. Okay, this slide uh, and the next one, uh, I mentioned the dimension of research. Uh, these two slides, uh, I don't want you to focus uh, deeply about them. Uh, just I mentioned the dimension of the research that you have some idea about it. Uh, when you hear about dimension of research or, for example, in in the website or in the article where when you read what's the dimension of research, you have a idea about it. That's it. But don't focus at this stage. Don't focus that uh, what's the exactly dimension of research. Just know it. For example, uh, we can mention dimension of research as a topic, as a novelty, as a technology. These are all dimension of research. A scope, mode, methodology, ideology, politics, and utility. So you know that these are dimension of research, but at this stage, no need to focus on them. Uh, for example, I can give you an example uh, about methodology. Methodology is very, you know, important part of the research. One of the very important uh, factor and dimension in your research. Uh, and uh, it can be qualitative or quantitative. When we say uh, our, my research is qualitative, meaning that uh, your research includes information. Uh, for example, you do an interview, okay? 
you do uh, a lot of inter lots of interview and then uh, analyze all of your observation and information uh, through the interview. Uh, then you say, no, my research is not qualitative, uh, methodo it doesn't have qualitative methodology, it has a quantitative methodology. So that means that you have lots of numbers, calculation in your survey, meaning that uh, you don't go and, for example, make a, an interview. Uh, you go and do a survey, uh, a spread a, a lot of, uh, lots of uh, questionnaires and then get the data as the numbers, okay? This is, for example, one of the examples as dimension of research. Uh, and then uh, for your information, I just I want to tell you that uh, there are uh, four sources of knowledge or truth uh, that we can divide it uh, to uh, mystical or spiritual, authoritative, logical, and scientific. That in our area I and mean in management, I think most of the research uh, should be scientific research. So uh, the goal of uh, uh, okay. Uh, now I receive some message from the student. I ask you, let me finish my slide. Maybe your question uh, will be answered in next slide. Okay, and then uh, after finish, we have a discussion. So just write your question. Thank you. Okay, uh, the goal of science, uh, I mean scientific uh, research. Uh, in the scientific research, you have a logic and evidence all together. You have both logic and evidence. And uh, also you, create, uh, you think about creation of knowledge, not application of it. And uh, you settle debate about, you cannot settle debate about values. In your scientific uh, research, you cannot talk about which is good or which is bad, which is right or which is wrong. You don't talk about your opinion. Everything that you mention in your uh, research should be uh, systematically answered. Uh, it's ca it cannot be your opinion, okay? If you say, this is my conclusion, meaning this conclusion based on lots of theory, lots of uh, reading that you have done, it's not just come up to your mind and say, okay, this is my idea. This cannot be a academic research. This is very important. Uh, so, from the first word you write in your research, when the supervisor asks you why, you should tell why. Why use this word? Why use that word? Why use this theory? Why don't you use the other theory? So, for everything that you write in your research, you should have a, uh, you know, a reason. All Latin you write, you should be based on theory, something knowledgeable. Okay, uh, so again, uh, this slide say that scientific research is guided by theory and hypothesis about the relation among such a phenomenon. Result in theory and uh, relationship among some phenomena, so meaning the theory and it should be based on theory. So here uh, we have a picture that uh, mentioned that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a simplify a scientific research, uh, the process
just I give the picture that you have in your mind. And step by step, when you do your research, you can understand it, okay? This is the rest of the relation. Okay, uh, now I want to give you an example. Uh, for example, uh, a general manager of a car producing company uh, was concerned uh, lots of complaints received from the car owners that the car they purchased uh, have some problem with power window and window screen wiper after a thousand kilometer of driving. So what, did the, what will the manager do? He gathered information from the company workers to identify the various factors influencing the problem. Then uh, he formulated the problem and generated some possible hypotheses. And then he constructed a checklist and obtained requisite information from the representative sample of car. And finally, he then analyzes the data collected and uh, reach to their conclusion. So, as you see, the previous slide uh, is an example of scientific research. Why? Because as you notice, uh, there, are a, there is a sequence of a steps which were in order and thus systematic, meaning that the manager collect the data, analyzes, and then come to conclusion. The researcher did not just jump at the conclusion, use a scientific method of inquiry in reach, reaching at conclusion. So because manager do the scientific method, uh, do the, the, the systematic uh, method, so and then step by step, then come near to the conclusion, meaning that scientific research. The two important characteristics of research are it is systematic, and secondly, it should follow the scientific method of inquiry. So this is also very important point when you want to do your research. About uh, things that you should consider uh, in your research is the reality and pitfall of research, the strategies and methods you should do, uh, you should uh, use it in your research, and technique and procedure of data collection and analysis, and appropriate use of information technology. About method uh, means the techniques and procedure used to obtain data. When you say what's your method, meaning that which technique and procedure use uh, to obtain your data. A methodology, the theory of how research should be undertaken, the whole procedure, okay? And uh, I can say uh, the definition of the nature of research as this sentence, that, that something that people undertake in order to find things out in a systematic way, thereby increasing their knowledge. This is the one definition that we can give to the nature of research. And the uh, characteristic is uh, characteristic of the research. Again, I tell you, uh, data are collected systematically, data are interpreted systematically, and there is a clear purpose to find things out. This point also important, clear purpose, OK? Now, this is the research process. Uh, I think the all I think all of the research should uh, have this item. First, you should formulating and clarifying a topic. Then you should review the literature, meaning that you should do a lot of literature. And then uh, this is important that you know. When I say review the literature, meaning that you should read and then criticize the literature, the journal and article that you read. Not only read, 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 no, this is no point. It doesn't have any point. You should literature, and for example, say in this article, person, your feeling, your personal idea shouldn't be impacting your research. And when you want to start the research, 
you should think about how can you access to data. You cannot start very good topic and uh, write, 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 and then you uh, get to the part of uh, data analysis, you think, oh my god, I cannot access any data about it. I cannot uh, gather any information about this. Then, meaning that you cannot do anything. So you can find another topic, another research, and do it from the first. Okay, so when you think about the research, of course, you should think about it. Can you access to data or not. If you can't, forget this topic, forget this research, okay? And also time and other resources that you need, and validity and reliability of the data. These are also important that you should mention. Okay, for business and management research, the feature, uh, managers uh, draw on knowledge from other disciplines, okay? Managers are more likely to allow access if they see commercial or personal advantage. Uh, they can, uh, maybe they don't think about just publish their uh, thesis and their research in the journal. Maybe uh, if they think that they can make a profit or uh, think as a commercial where, and if they think that the company or person uh, can offer them very good, they can, uh, you know, uh, they can let them to access their thesis and research. Managers uh, tend to be educated as the researchers, but also they think about their practical consequences as well. They, the uh, manager doesn't think only about the academic area, only about the knowledge. Uh, they think also about the pra uh, practical uh, consequences that they research will have. And of course, uh, they should uh, knowledge production, and they should uh, cover the relevance gap, evidence-based management, and apply the research. The business and management research is transdisciplinary and engage in both theory and practice, as I mentioned before. So you, if you are a manager, so when you want to do your research, you should think about both theory and practice, okay? And of course, you should do undertake and uh, you should do and undertake systematic research. And uh, finally, I can tell you that there is no one best way for undertaking all research. Meaning that if your uh, classmate said, uh, I can do this research, it doesn't mean that you can do it uh, as well too. Or if uh, he or she uh, use one methodology, it doesn't mean, and be successful, it doesn't mean this methodology works for your research as well too. So there is no one best way for undertaking all research. Always think about it. and. Uh, if you want to have more uh, information about the research method for business, you can uh, read this book. I put the name of the book uh, and all the details that you need. Uh, and also, I would be appreciated if uh, the student uh, make me um, send the email to me at this address email and mention their name, nationality. Uh, nationality and education and occupation, uh, and uh, because now you introduce yourself, but maybe uh, I forgot uh, when I want to do something for you. So uh, of course, uh, if uh, you are in the last semester, I think in the MBA, so it's good if uh, you have any topic. If you think about any topic, uh, you can send me your topic, uh, and. Uh, Hopefully, uh, I can uh, give you a hand, and by end of this semester, end of this class, you can do your research as well. Thank you so much for your hearing and your time. Now, if there is any question, now you can ask me. Hello. Hello, yes. Uh, thank you very much. I have one question, and I hope that uh, what I question is not some, something naive. 
you pointed out to journal article as important part, part of research. Yes. Uh, and uh, my question is that if research is not uh, academic and it is rather thematic, then this journal article will not help a lot. Or maybe there is no um, journal article at all. Um, but uh, in short, when you are doing the thematic uh, research or research on a thematic issue, uh, how we can make sure that what we are doing is not a duplication of what someone else has done before. So uh, I hope I could uh, uh, express my question clearly. Okay. Um, first, I want you. Uh, okay, if I'm not uh, mistaken, uh, Mr. Ahmad Javad uh, mentioned two points. The first one that uh, is, uh, the point is, uh, yes, you shouldn't read uh, every article or every publication that you have seen in the magazine, uh, in the newspaper. No, no, no. Uh, you are an academic person, so uh, you should uh, go uh, and find the best of article, uh, academic article. You can find uh, some in the website of the university uh, or for example in the Emerald website and also there are lots of uh, websites that uh, they have a uh, impact factor and index and uh, they are for example uh, ISI, ISI journal, Spokes journal, uh, there are uh, mm, you know there are the article available in this uh, publication uh, are very useful for you. And then uh, the other point I think uh, you want to ask me uh, is about how can you understand that uh, before you the people uh, didn't uh, research your topic. Uh, it's very clear. When you want to review the, public, uh, the literature, when you read the article, uh, first you should read, uh, for example, uh, around uh, five years or uh, five years to seven years before you want to do the research. The article based on this uh, date. For example, now we are in 2012, so you you should uh, read the articles. For example, in uh, 2000, uh, from 2007, 2008, uh, not uh, less than this, uh, not later than this, because you should know the uh, upgrade. Journal. Maybe when you read the journal, you see that the, in the references, uh, they refer to the theories or articles, for example, in 1990. Doesn't matter. The base theory always uh, come, uh, go to the very, very long ago. Not doesn't matter. But the article that uh, the topic you want to do that every other uh, any other people do or no just read about five years ago seven years ago and then uh, when you uh, search in the internet you can you know enter your topic and then lots of the uh, article you can find and then read the academic one and then read the last part of the article that mentions future research if your topic related to the future uh, research so meaning that uh, no one do it before you can do it and you are the first one uh, if, uh, for example, after two or three uh, article, or maybe more than this, not two or three, maybe after read uh, ten uh, articles, and in all of the uh, research uh, for the future, uh, you mention, you see that your topic mentioned, you make sure that no one do it before. But it's very important that the date of article you read it. Uh, for example, if you read an uh, article in 2000 or in uh, 1998, then in the research uh, recommendation for the future, you see, oh, my topic is uh, there. So uh, doesn't mean that uh, no one do it, because it's for 10 years ago. Maybe after that, someone do it. Uh, so I ask you to read lots of articles, academic articles from the website that, uh, and from the public that they are very good, very important, very famous in the academy. And the other point is not read the article for many, many years ago, okay? That's the point. I, th I, I hope that uh, you can get your answer. Uh, if no, please answer me again.
Hello? Yes, Mr. Ahmad Java. Thank you very much. Uh, this was a very clear response to my question. I have one okay. simple and short question. Uh, okay. Can we have uh, a link to download this book? Uh, is it for free or we have to pay? Just we want the link to get this book uh, into our list. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, uh, this uh, book uh, is uh, from uh, Pearson publication, and Pearson never uh, publish anything uh, free. Uh, so, if you want to have uh, this book, uh, you should pay for it online uh, from Amazon or every other place. Uh, but I, I don't think so that you can find the free one. Uh, but uh, if, for example, you want uh, to have in some area of the research you have question and you want to make uh, more information about it, uh, you can uh, search in the website uh, your uh, question and also the name of this book. Uh, sometimes uh, the student uh, have a um, PowerPoint a slide, uh, the student that, for example, the lecturer uh, teach this book for them and then they share in the website. You can try it uh, as this way for the free, but the whole book cannot find free, I think. Uh, it is my idea. You can try it, but I, I think you cannot find it free. Uh, but some uh, slides of this book, some part of this book, uh, as a, a student or maybe lecturer share the slide in the website, yes, you can get it free. But the whole book, I don't think so. Okay, uh, any other student? Have any other questions? Okay, uh, Mr. Salman Nawabi, uh, wait, uh, I find you in my list and I pass the phone mic uh, to you. Okay, Salman Nawabi. I cannot uh, find you in the list uh, exactly. Your name is Zalmay Nawabi. Oh, yes, I found you now. Okay, Mr. Zalmay, what's your question? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, it was very informative, today's lecture. I was just okay. wondering if you could tell me whether there is a special uh, format for uh, research or there are different standards or people make, you know, research formats in different ways. Is there kind of a standard uh, format mm -hmm. for research? Yes, of course. Uh, in academic area, uh, there mm -hmm. is a format for, uh, uh, you know, the research. Uh, all the, okay, let me unmute you first. Okay. Okay, uh, Mr. Zalmay asked about the uh, a specific format for the research. Is there any specific uh, format for the research? Uh, yes, uh, all the scientific research uh, has this format that uh, most of them uh, include uh, five chapters. Okay, and the first uh, chapter uh, is about introduction and the background of your uh, research. Uh, for example, about uh, 10 or 15 pages, not more than this. Uh, and then uh, in this in uh, in this chapter chapter one introduction you should make uh, you should mention your research question uh, research objective uh, problem statement and some of these points and then uh, chapter two is about literature review so you mention all of the uh, article and publication and journal that you read and then analyzes them. Uh, and then in chapter three, uh, you have a research methodology part that you will uh, explain which method do you use, uh, qualitative or quantitative. And then in the four uh, 
chapter, uh, you have analysis of your data or information uh, based on your uh, uh, research methodology, based on your methodology, the chapter three research methodology. And finally, in uh, chapter five, uh, you have the conclusion and suggestion and recommendation and something like this. Uh, so most of the, you know, most of the research has these five chapters. Maybe some students uh, add uh, one or two uh, chapter more, uh, meaning that they um, they separate uh, more uh, these five chapters and uh, make it more detailed. But usually, uh, when you look at the research or thesis of the student, you can see five chapter. Five chapter meaning uh, complete and it's okay and everyone accepts it. Uh, but more than five chapter, uh, it depends on your supervisor. Some supervisor follow only this effort, uh, this um, format, uh, but some of them let uh, a student to do uh, more chapter. Uh, but uh, the normal chapter, the normal format like this five chapter. Uh, if you get your answer, uh, let me know. If no, I can explain for you more. But don't worry, uh, in next classes, step by step, all of the chapters I will explain for you and explain for you that each chapter contains uh, which item uh, and then by the end of the semester, end of the this course, you can get all the points. Uh, but as a view, now because you asked me, I answer you, uh, but if you need more details, during the classes, I will explain for you. Thank you. Any other question? So if uh, a student doesn't have any other question, let me, okay, uh, Mr. Ackman, all right, um, okay, I will share the slides because the student mentioned that they don't receive the uh, slides, let me check. Uh, Okay, I try to share the slide. I know, do you get it or not? A student uh, who asked me about the uh, share the slide, do you receive it? Okay, okay, okay. The student uh, mentioned that, that they want to have a slide through the email. Okay, if uh, now uh, some of the students uh, cannot access the share because of the speed of the internet and the internet and maybe their system uh, are down. Uh, so uh, if you send me the email that I asked you and mention your name and uh, some uh, background of your uh, work and also your education, uh, I can receive your email and then uh, I will uh, reply the email uh, and attach the slides of today. Uh, at this way, I think uh, most of the students can get the slides because uh, maybe some of them as a share cannot get it. Okay, uh, do you have any other question? Please ask me, because we have time. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. 
Um, thank you very much for a very good presentation. Uh, you are welcome. You are so welcome. Are new, uh, uh, since this is a new uh, subject for us, uh, it was a little bit faster uh, in the internet. Uh, uh, it's okay, maybe it is the start day, but um, um, I would kindly request uh, if it's possible to uh, have the presentation a bit slower and with more examples because it would be a very good time to learn uh, at this time. And um, um, uh, about uh, research methodology, it is a very interesting subject uh, uh, because uh, after studying our bachelor's degree, we did small researches on the, the subject of topics of our uh, university. Uh, we didn't have any ideas about what is research or what is the methodology of doing this, but we did it on our own ways. So this is a very good start. Thank you very much. Hello? Mr. Navid, uh, they have an interruption. Uh, can you tell again? Um, um, I was uh, very grateful for this presentation. At, uh, and uh, I, I said this was uh, since the first day, and the uh, present presentation was a bit a little faster for us, but I think it is the first day we will learn more uh, mm -hmm. from you. Uh, and our experience from our bachelor's degrees in the university in, in our uh, country here, uh, we didn't have any experience by doing researches, but we did some, uh, although it was a scramble one, but uh, it was very good. Uh, but with these new uh, ways of uh, explanations that we did today, it is a good start. Uh, I okay. hope that we can get more examples, more examples during presentations and uh, uh, and also have a little bit slower on the slides to, to see and also to understand. Thank you very much. It was very good. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Navid, uh, because uh, you you have a bachelor, yeah? And then uh, starting your MBA, yes? Uh, it's for sure. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, so meaning that uh, you don't have experience for research. Am I right? Uh, no, not much experience in the research. Only okay. uh, after okay, graduation, okay. we had to do some uh -huh. paper paperwork, some research on, uh -huh. on the specific topics okay. for uh, so, uh, last year. Uh, okay, uh, it, it's okay. Uh, don't worry about this uh, because uh, today uh, I give you just the background of uh, you know research methodology. Uh, so just uh, I want uh, you have a clear picture about that. Uh, what research methodology about and uh, what this course talk about it. Okay, and then uh, for next class, uh, step by step, uh, chapter by chapter, I will explain for you that uh, each chapter contains what, uh, and it doesn't matter if you or other students uh, haven't. Uh, done any research before because uh, we follow step by step. I don't ask you to, you know, submit the research uh, by accidentally. Uh, so don't worry. Uh, we should do it together. Uh, and uh, I ask you and other student uh, that uh, from now uh, they think about the topic. Uh, maybe next time uh, we want to explain uh, and have a presentation about topic of the research. If you have uh, some uh, idea about your topic, uh, then step by step, class by class, you can edit your topic edit your information, uh, but if you don't uh, think about it and if you don't have any idea about what you want to do, so the class cannot be useful for you, for you okay? It's better that, uh, I mean, just you get some information, uh, not as a practice. So it's better uh, that you do your research uh, parallelly with the class. Uh, maybe it's difficult for you. Maybe it's difficult for you, uh, but uh, it's uh, more useful. Uh, so I ask you and other students uh, think about the topic. 
So next session, we when I uh, present you the topic of the research, so you can understand and can get the point more easily and better. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much. Um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's very good that you said about this uh, uh, to choose a topic, uh, uh -huh. but. Uh, uh, for our understanding and knowledge at the moment, uh, for example, if I choose a topic, for uh, it should not be so broad to have a difficulty for me. But can you give some examples of topics that might be to choose? But we may, we will not take that. But as example, which kind of topics, for example, we can uh, we can choose? Uh, all right, uh, I want uh, to say first uh, the one point that uh, doing the research is a journey, okay, uh, like a trip. Uh, you uh, start from somewhere and then you will uh, <coughs> get uh, your destination. Uh, so you should be uh, very, very patient when you are doing your survey, when you are doing your research. Uh, so maybe many times you choose the topic and again and again and again you cancel it and understand that uh, it's not a suitable, it's not suitable topic for you. Uh, so if uh, you choose a uh, topic, uh, don't worry about it that uh, this is the uh, final topic. No, you can change it, it's flexible uh, because if you change the topic many times but you sure about the topic, you sure about the uh, procedure, the way you have you want to do it, you know about that uh, when, where you want to uh, start and where you want to uh, finish it, it is very important uh, and it doesn't matter that how long does it take because when uh, you choose the good topic, uh, when you sure about your uh, research, you know what should you do, so meaning that half a way you have done. So. After that, you can do your research very easily. Just uh, follow a step by step and the uh, things done. But if, for example, uh, you choose the topic and then start suddenly you start to write the research, you are not patient. Uh, so when you become after chapter one, uh, finish or in the chapter two, when you do lots of literature review, so you understand oh my god, this topic is not suitable for me, for my knowledge, or for the society, or whatever. So, uh, I mean, uh, you can choose the topic, uh, and then step by step, when your knowledge, your information uh, improve, you can change it. Uh, when I say ch choose the topic, uh, I don't mean that, uh, for example, give me the four words as a topic. No, I want you uh, that you think about it, what you want to do it. For example, tell me, I want to do, uh, for example, um, customer, I want to do some research about customer behavior in my company. I want to do something like this. Then, step by step, when you do the literature review, when you read the article, so then you can understand that what exactly the topic. So don't think about the some words that come as a topic or title. No, you think about it. What do you want to do exactly? In which area and in uh, which sample? You know, give it this to me for next uh, session. Then uh, step by step, you can narrow down, narrow down, narrow down, and then finally you can achieve your final topic. So now uh, don't think about, it. for example, I can give you the example as you ask me. Uh, my uh, thesis in PhD, okay, first I uh, choose the critical success factor for SMEs, okay. SMEs meaning small and medium enterprises. Uh, then uh, when I do my literature review, I understand that lots of, uh, lots of uh, publication and article and journal talk about the critical success factor of uh, SMEs. So then uh, I change it to cluster-based SMEs. Okay, so but from the first I know that I want to do some research about SMEs. All right, I want to do something uh, about SMEs in Asian countries. 
all right, uh, okay. And then by and then step by step, when I talk to the supervisor, my supervisor, and read the article, narrow down, narrow down the uh, you know uh, narrow narrow, uh, narrow down the my uh, topic, and then come to this uh, topic that I choose: cluster-based SME uh, strategies development uh, for globalization in. Uh, in uh, uh, selected Asian countries. Okay, uh, so I ask you that you think about it. In which area do you want to do your research? And for example, in which country uh, or in which uh, company? And then uh, step by step, you can narrow it. Okay. If there is any other question, uh, please ask me. Uh, thank you very much. That was a very good uh, example. Thank you. You are most welcome. Okay, uh, other students, do you have uh, any question? Because uh, we have time and we can discuss more if you need. Okay, and some of the uh, students uh, send the SMS send message that uh, they hope uh, to get to gain more as they expect. Uh, I cannot uh, get their phone. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, meaning that uh, this slide and this uh, presentation um, uh, not new and uh, not useful for them, uh, or they want to get more uh, slides. Uh, please uh, tell me what they want. What they? What do you mean exactly? Then for next class we can have a better uh, discussion and better class. For example, Mr. Ibrahimi. Uh, can you explain what your expectation? It's very good for me to know that, and I can improve. Can you hear me, Mr. Ebrahimi? Okay, I think no, he's not on. All right, Mr. Akman. I think uh, you have another question also. Do you want to ask me now about undergraduate uh, project? It was not well clear about the meaning of this sentence. Uh, if you could please explain a little bit of this sentence. Have you heard the slide? Mr. This was in second slide. Oh. Okay, Mr. Akman, yeah? Actually, the sentence in the second slide, it was, uh, uh, can you please uh -huh. move the slide? Okay. All right, all right. And what do you mean by uh, expectations? Can you tell me about your expectation? Uh, gain more as we expect. What does it mean? Uh, in which area do you want to have more? Actually, my my point was that uh, uh, the research methodology was uh, something new for me because I in my bachelor degree, I didn't have any subject under this uh, topic, so I hope I could to know about the research methodology and everything. It was uh, explained people, so I hope uh -huh. I will be able to explain each of these things in the next future session. Uh, you mean that uh, you don't uh, have any experience for research, uh, so you need uh, more details about research methodology. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, clear. Okay, okay. Uh, so, Mr. Akmal, as I mentioned, uh, today uh, just uh, I want uh, to give you an overview and uh, background of research methodology as uh, some of you uh, have a, uh, you know, bachelor degree so doesn't have any experience uh, about research. So, just uh, today I want to give you some information that you know that 
what's the research methodology about, okay, and then about details, of course, you are right, uh, you should know more than this, because with this slide, you cannot do the research, of course, uh, so by the next uh, classes, uh, step by step, uh, we talk about each chapter of the research that you should do, and the, uh, and the factors and information that you should put in each chapter, and then uh, you can get more information about it. Be sure, don't worry, uh, you can do it after, um, you know, follow up the procedure, follow up the, this presentation and classes, uh, inshallah. Uh, by the end, end of this class, you can get all the information about the research methodology and you can start your research. Uh, great, thank you so much. Welcome. Okay, about the question that uh, Mr. Akman asked me about the meaning that uh, one sentence in that slide. Uh, I try to find uh, this one and then explain for him. Can you uh, send a message for me that which slide is it? Do you, do you know which slide? Yeah, I already uh, put in the chat box. Can you please send it? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Under under grant project are sometimes good enough to publish. What does it mean? Uh, okay. Uh, this is very simple uh, because um, uh, it means that. Uh, in uh, many uh, universities, when they do the bachelor degree, uh, of course they have a thesis as well in the final year. Okay, so this uh, sometimes means that uh, if you are undergraduate, okay, uh, you are you do the uh, bachelor. Of course, your research also can be published you know, because sometimes people think about that just a PhD thesis and research or master PhD uh, or master research can be published. And so I want to say you, if you do the research as a correct way, uh, as, a, as a right uh, method, uh, you can also publish the, I mean, uh, people in the undergraduate degree also can publish the research. Uh, that's that. It, it means that. Uh, do you get all right? Do you get Okay, uh, if uh, any of you uh, think about uh, his uh, topic, uh, first I have a question. Uh, all of the students, uh, all of you are the student uh, for lesson or no? Is there any student that uh, this class uh, is not uh, for the class of last semester? I didn't receive, no, I have just started. Okay, Mr. Navid Michael, you just started. Uh, okay. Okay, the third semester meaning the final semester, am I right? Okay, uh, so a student, uh -huh. uh, because now I I think uh, two of the students just started the MBA program. Uh, so for this uh, student, um, I can uh, give them more chance to find the topic because they just started and they just joined to the MBA. So if they have a background, and I mean uh, they bachelor in uh, their bachelor uh, is, uh, was in uh, business or management or any other related uh, area. So also they can uh, start the research topic and give me the topic for the next session. Uh, but uh, if they cannot, it's okay. Uh, because I think uh, this uh, class is more useful uh, for the uh, third semester, I mean final uh, semester student, as they have some knowledge about other subjects, so they know that they want to do in uh, strategic management, they want to do in um, financial uh, subject or other subject. Uh, but for them that they are the, in the first term, I think it may be uh, soon. Um, 
although, uh, however, if they have a bachelor in uh, business degree, of course they can do. Uh, so the rest of the students that they are in the final semester, uh, I ask them uh, to have the topic, the thinking that uh, what they want to do about the research, and next time uh, we can discuss about this. If, uh, all right, uh, Mr. Navid said that bachelor in medicine, so Mr. Navid, uh, it's better that you can use the other classmates' information and uh, the presentation that I will provide you. And then uh, maybe after uh, three sessions or four sessions that you can uh, get other uh, information from other classes of MBA, then you can choose your topic, no problem. But the rest of the students that they are in final semester, I ask them to provide the uh, topic for me for the next session. Or if a student, uh, they uh, just uh, started MBA, but they have uh, experience uh, in the project and management uh, area, uh, in business and management area, uh, uh, most welcome uh, to choose the topic and talk about their topic and discuss about their topic, no problem. Okay, uh, for my class, uh, I will ask you to do the research, not the complete one, uh, but uh, the, the sample of uh, real uh, academic research. About the MBA program, I'm not sure at this moment that uh, do you have a group project or do you have an individual project, but for my class, uh, of course, uh, I ask you as an individual uh, the sample of the uh, research uh, and the academic research uh, because uh, I want to uh, have you and uh, we can discuss it, uh, that and have a research uh, by this course that you have taken. If you take this research, this research methodology class and haven't done any, you know, any research, uh, what's the point? Uh, you take this course uh, until, uh, you know, you take this course uh, to learn something and then do the, uh, do the research. So for the final, uh, uh, yes, I ask you as individually uh, the research for me. Give me the research. Uh, but as a whole program, I don't know. Uh, maybe you should ask the manager. Because uh, I uh, always uh, like uh, to do the group project also, uh, but uh, this subject different with other subjects that you have had before. Okay, uh, research methodology meaning that you uh, should uh, prepare yourself to do your research. So cannot be as a you know cannot be as a group project. Maybe we have some discussion or some assignment as a group uh, project, uh, as a group, but uh, for the research, I ask you to do it individually that you can understand your threat and strength, and then you can do your final uh, research very well. Okay, Mr. Zalmay Nawabi, I cannot get your point. What do you mean by would you share with us the model for academic or scientific research? Do you mean the formatting, the format of the scientific research, or what do you mean? Can you speak? Okay, a format. All right, uh, I, I don't know you be in class or no, uh, but uh, the other classmate also asked me about the format of the uh, research. Uh, yes, uh, of course, uh, all the research, as I told you, uh, has a format. Uh, academic research has a specific format as included five chapters, and then uh, we will discuss uh, during the class uh, that each chapter uh, should be included uh, of what uh, information. Do you mean this? Do you get your answer? Mr. Zalmay Nawabi, do you get your answer? Oh, 
Okay, if you need outlines, uh, I will uh, give you during the classes. Okay, for example, uh, for the, out the outline of chapter one uh, should be something uh, like uh, a background of your study, uh, research question, uh, you should mention your research question, a research objective, uh, significance of your study, uh, and problem statement. These are the most important uh, factor or element of chapter one. For chapter two, uh, there are, there is no specific outline because it uh, depends on your uh, research. You should divide your chapter two uh, to many, for example, parts as you read many articles. Depends on the topic. For example, I can give you an example. My thesis is about cluster-based SMEs, okay? So, for example, in my chapter two, I have the title uh, under chapter two, under chapter literature review, I mean, uh, I have a uh, title like uh, information about SME. Another title is about the globalization. Another, uh, another uh, title, for example, is about Asian countries, SMEs in Asian countries, something like that. So in chapter two, uh, we don't have a, a specific outline. It depends on your literature review. It depends on your topic. But chapter one, uh, yes, there is a, a specific outline. And then in chapter three, the methodology uh, sometimes uh, has an outline that I prefer to talk about this later because at this step, uh, it's very soon, and uh, you cannot get it, uh, get the point now because uh, we, if we do it step by step, uh, it's very good, it's very better. Yes, uh, you can choose the topic. Uh, okay, Mr. Zalmay asked me that, uh, can we choose the topic uh, to make research? Yes, uh, for next uh, session, for next class, I will ask you, uh, okay, Mr. Zalma, for example, what area do you want to have a research? And then what do you think, uh, what topic do you think about it? Not in detail, but just you have an idea. For example, tell me, uh, I want to do something about supply chain in a strategic management. I do something, uh, I want to do something, uh, for example, about a human resource or another uh, topic. I don't know, based on, uh, depends on you. Uh, so you can give me the whole, you know, the whole topic that you want to take, uh, think about it. And then when in, we, are, we uh, want to do chapter two, I ask you that you read, for example, 10 articles, 10 journals, academic journal about this uh, subject, for example, about supply chain and strategy management. Then after you read, then come yeah, the, and we tell me that, oh, now I know that I want to do, for example, supply chain in this area, for example, in um, the relationship between supply chain and, for example, uh, uh, customer uh, behavior or something other um, subject. So after that, uh, when you read, uh, you can get uh, the topic better. But for the next session, just uh, think about uh, which area do you want to do your sub and to do your research and which subject exactly, uh, not the you know the final one. Okay, uh, Sudam, uh, I uh, share the uh, slides of today. I don't know, can you receive it or no? Uh, so, but I will email, send the email, uh, and then uh, I can. I think as this way you can get it better. Uh, it's uh, it's better way. So just uh, send email uh, me uh, about the some information about you if. Don't want? Okay, no problem. Just send the email to me. And my email is okay. I write here my email, and then uh, I will uh, I will send the slide again 
draw the image because now I share, but maybe some of you cannot get it. This is my email address. If you have, uh, feel free and uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, so you can uh, send your email. I can answer it. Uh, and then uh, I will attach the, these slides uh, also for you. And if you have any question, uh, feel free to ask me through the email. Uh, I will check my email every day uh, and no problem. And a student, uh, if you have any other question or discussion, you can now talk about it. Because I try uh, to share the slides and in my computer shows that the slide is sharing, but uh, some of you uh, tell that uh, don't receive it, so uh, don't worry, I will email to you. And at this moment, if any of you has or have idea about the topic, uh, can tell me and we can discuss from now. Any of you, uh, have you ever think about your topic, the area of your research? If yes, please share with us. Okay, Mr. Zalmay Nawabi uh, tell that he will work on globalization. Uh, will you explain us more as an example for today? And then next session we will discuss more. Can you tell me that what exactly meaning by globalization? In which area do you want to have some research? Do you want to talk about this, Mr. Zalmay? Okay, maybe Mr. Zalman cannot talk at this moment. Uh, okay, so uh, nice uh, uh, to meet you in this uh, class as it is way, uh, and I hope you can do your research uh, very easy and very soon uh, and very well also. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, if you don't have any other questions, uh, we can finish the class. Uh, or if you have any question or discussion, uh, we can go on. Okay, uh, Mr. Mr. Zamai, uh, Mr. Z sorry, Mr. Zalmai, uh, talk about the globalization. Uh, he tell that. 
excuse me, excuse me. Okay, uh, he talked that uh, fast pace of technology and trade have broken, bordered, and made the globe a village accessible to all. Uh, of course, it's uh, true the globalization like this, uh, but uh, if you want, this is the whole, you know, whole definition of globalization and the whole impact that globalization has in our uh, world nowadays. But uh, if you want uh, to do uh, your research in uh, globalization, you should narrow down more than this, more than that, what's the globalization, okay? Because it's uh, clear, and everyone you can find in the uh, uh, in the website in the article that globalization definition and what's the impact of globalization or how can we globalize? Okay, these are uh, okay. Mr. Zalmai now mentioned that its impact in Afghanistan. Okay, uh, I don't know about Afghanistan because uh, I don't have any research in this uh, country, uh, but. Um, you can search in the uh, internet uh, and, for example, uh, pu uh, write globalization impact in Afghanistan, okay? And then uh, you can access uh, the article and then read them uh, to understand that in which area, in which, uh, you know, in which area of impact of globalization in Afghanistan have done before. You cannot say, I want to do impact of globalization in Afghanistan. It's very wide, it's very wide subject, it's very wide topic. Now, if you want to do the good, uh, you know, the good uh, survey, it's better uh, to narrow down more than this. Don't uh, think, uh, yes, impact of globalization in Afghanistan is very good, but in which industry? in which companies, okay? For example, you can say, I want uh, to have um, the impact of globalization uh, in uh, industrial uh, and manufacturing, uh, par uh, for example, uh, area, all right? Uh, so this is more narrow down. Uh, but first, you can do the uh, uh, search through internet. Maybe, I'm not sure, maybe uh, for Afghanistan uh, hasn't uh, do the research uh, about the globalization, uh, the impact of globalization of Afghanistan. Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, you can search it. And if you cannot find any uh, useful academic article in this area, yes, you can be the first. But as a whole, as a usual, for example, for Malaysia or other Asian countries, this topic uh, is very, very wide. I think for Afghanistan also should be very, very wide. But you can check from the internet. And this is very interesting, uh, interesting uh, subject. Uh, and uh, also pay attention that you want to do something uh, in terms of internationalization or globalization, because they are two different terms, okay? So think about all of them. When you say, uh, I want to do globalization, in uh, impact of globalization in Afghanistan, I will ask you, why not internationalization? Uh, why not, uh, why in Afghanistan? And when, when I ask you why in Afghanistan, you cannot tell me because I live in Afghanistan or because my nationality is Afghanistan. It's not a reasonable uh, academic, uh, you know, answer uh, to the supervisor, not me, maybe other supervisor in other level. So you should think uh, very, very uh, systematically, all right? Okay, Mr. Zalmai, uh, you will be uh, right that need uh, my, support, uh, my support and guidance. Sure, uh, all the information and all the guidance and help that I can provide uh, to you, I will do. Don't worry. And then, uh, Mr. Navid, uh, Miakhel or Miakhel, I don't know how to pronounce, sorry, Mr. My, uh, Mr. Navid, uh, but 
and he uh, write that I would like to work on topic about the ways how to make the Afghanistan economy grow through uh, municipal I don't know basic customs and the serial money. Uh -huh. okay okay that's it that's it uh, okay please Mr. Navid are you hear me now? Yes, uh, you, I hear you. Want you. To talk, you yeah. want to talk about the topic? Um, oh, yes. Uh, if it's all possible. right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Tell me, tell mm -hmm. me about it. Yes, um, I choose this topic because it's a hot uh, discussion nowadays in Afghanistan uh, that the international community is leaving the country and they uh, the future of the country depends on its own incomes and revenues inside the Afghanistan. And the, but it is a little bit uh, wider area of uh, choosing three main uh, headings of uh, municipalities, the uh, mayor's, mayor's office of the cities and the customs that the, you have the uh, revenues from the border, from the trades and the industrial mines, which Afghanistan is a very uh, industrial country uh, uh, untouched um, uh, mines in the in Afghanistan, which has been uh, um, researched by the uh, many uh, countries of the world. But, uh, like for example, there is a, uh, a lot of gas and oil, and, and a lot of uh, some of them are now started uh, to to be brought to the international. A trade and uh, for business and, and starting the uh, the excavation of the mines and, and production of the producing these uh, uh, mines uh, for the benefit of the country. Uh, All right. Uh, so, so yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Continue. Continue. Yeah. Uh, so uh, for for the country to to be a self-sufficient country in the long run, uh, yes. they need to find out a solution for uh, the internal uh, incomes and revenues and, and economic growth. So I I I see the municipalities and customs and industrial mines would be a chance for the future of the country. So I would like to do some research on these three um, topics mm -hmm. uh, to find out more and to um, how and why these can be a good chance or a solution for the future of the country uh, for the economic growth of Afghanistan. Uh, okay, uh, I will mute you and then talk to you. Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Navid, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you want uh, to do um, the research that uh, uh, give a suggestion and recommendation in your research that uh, how in the uh, customs or industrial mines uh, Afghanistan uh, can be can have economic growth. Am I right? Would you please repeat? I could not get the last statement. Okay. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you want to do the research that uh, in your research you provide suggestion and a recommendation that how can Afghanistan uh, can has uh, can uh, has economic growth uh, in field of customs and industrial mines. Yes. Am I right? Yes. In it. Municipalities, customs, true municipalities, uh -huh. uh, customs, customs and industrial and mines. Industrial mines. Uh, okay. Uh, if you want municipalities as well. Okay, okay. municipalities. Sorry. Yes. Uh, so maybe uh, at first uh, stage uh, you should uh, do this. Uh, okay. Uh, first, I want to tell you this one. Uh, this topic is good. Okay, because it's narrowed down. To three parts, okay, municipality, custom, and um, industrial mines. Uh, but you should do lots of, lots of uh, survey and information about these three parts. Maybe at this stage, uh, yes, you can. You you think that you can do all of this together. It depends on you, but it's uh, very 
big job. Okay, <laughs> it's very really it's very big job. But uh, for example, after you read and after you after you think about that, how can you access the data? Maybe you can understand that uh, only you can do your research in one of these customs on the serial month. That or for example, uh, municipal. Okay, all of them may be too large, too big, big job. Okay, it depends on you. So uh, think about how can you access the data in all three parts, and then then you say how uh, you know. Uh, most of the time, I think, but I can check for you. Uh, but I think uh, the topic uh, of the research uh, how uh, it's not very good sound. That way, we say how, okay? Uh, because of when you, uh, the topic said how, it means lots of things, you know, what, lots of um, strategies, lots of uh, conclusion, lots of, you know, everything uh, should be done. So most of the time, uh, they don't use how. But I'm not sure about it. I can check for you. Maybe how also is very good. But I want to know, uh, I, I ask you also, you search in the website and see whether uh, how is used or not. Up to uh, up to now, uh, I, I haven't seen, okay? Maybe there is, okay? Maybe I'm mistaken. But this is another point that you can focus on your topic, that uh, is it good to use how or not? And again, uh, the other thing is economic growth. Uh, this is also very wide. The economic growth in which term? All right, economic uh, growth in term of, uh, for example, uh, employment, uh, economic growth in terms of uh, productivity, uh, in which way? Uh, the whole economic growth, you know, uh, many, many factors cause economic growth. So you cannot uh, investigate all factors that cause economic growth in three parts in Afghanistan. I think it's very wide, all right, uh, but it depends on you. If you want, if you can, if you access the data, it's okay. But this is only my suggestion. All right. So maybe this topic, uh, uh, of course, this topic is very good, but maybe uh, need lots of reading. When you read, you can understand, for example, uh, which factor that causes economic growth uh, is less attention in Afghanistan. All right. And after that, uh, you can uh, focus on that factor. Uh, because uh, when you choose the topic, all right, uh, when the person look at your topic, then says, oh, it's very easy, of course. Uh, in Afghanistan, in every, you know, part, uh, blah, 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 okay. Uh, but when you narrow down uh, to the one factor or two factor, then uh, the research maybe uh, make more sense to the, you know, uh, make uh, good sense to the, people and then they said, okay, so meaning that uh, this uh, research will be focused uh, only on this, so meaning that uh, this research has lots of points, ha has more things, more uh, uh, useful points. Okay, and this is another uh, suggestion that I have, but as the first one, it's very good, uh, it's a uh, same good, uh, and uh, uh, just you know that uh, you should uh, do lots of reading and also uh, ac uh, gather the information may be difficult for you. Uh, you think about this and next week in our next class we discuss again. Do you have questions? Again, can you ask? Uh, thank you, ma'am. Um, it's all right. Uh, I, uh, you're right. It's a, uh, the statement I mentioned that was a big and wide area. So mm -hmm. I try to work on the uh, narrowing it on a uh, extent that is possible to work on. Of course, uh, with the very limited access that I have, I cannot do all of that. Uh, you're very right. Thank you very much for the good advice. Uh, you are most welcome, and then uh, think about it, how you can narrow down uh, by reading uh, lots of, you know, uh, by reading uh, article, and then you can uh, find that in which area uh, there is 
less uh, research in Afghanistan uh, or in which uh, factor and uh, a factor that uh, can impact the economic growth with less uh, attention uh, in Afghanistan and also uh, you should think about it uh, that uh, these factors should be most important also okay don't uh, think about it that less uh, factor or less uh, studies that uh, have done in this area in Afghanistan meaning that uh, it's very good that you do it. Maybe uh, when people uh, do uh, less meaning that it doesn't need it to uh, research this. Uh, so make sure that, uh, of course, first, uh, it's important. Uh, second, it's worse. It has worse to everyone. Uh, to, and, and third one, um, it should be practiced uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, and then uh, you can uh, continue your research. Uh, and I hope you can do it very well. Good luck. Thank you. All the best. So I asked the, uh, a student because lots of lots of message uh, come to my computer. I ask you if you have any idea or suggestion or comments. Uh, please talk uh, if you can. If it's possible for you, please uh, talk because at this way it's better. Because uh, maybe I lost some of the points that you mentioned in the, the chat room, uh, and you cannot get your point. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, of course. Mr. Elias. Good evening. Uh, Good evening to you, too. I'm sorry. I have some internet problems. I could not join on time in the class, but I just joined. Uh, All right. Uh, Mr. Elias, I send my email address, uh, so you can uh, send your email to my email uh, address, and then I will uh, send you the a slice that you cannot have it because of your uh, problem of your internet. Uh, so don't worry, you can get the slice and learn about it, okay? Okay, so we to, uh, we, we, tonight it means that we have a lesson. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning. I, I, I try to send uh, you the a slice tomorrow morning if it's uh, okay for you because tonight is too late for me. Now here is around 12 o'clock. Uh, so maybe tomorrow I send you. Is it okay? No if you need, I can do it tonight for you. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Do we have an assignment also? Pardon? Any assignment? Uh, did I miss any assignment? Do we have any assignment? Any, any uh -uh, assignment. Uh, okay, uh, assignment. Uh, no, just if you are in a semester, uh, final semester of your uh, MBA, okay, program. Are you are you in the final semester of your MBA program? Yes, yes, I'm in the final semester. Okay, so I ask you to uh, have a look on the slide, and then uh, you provide me the topic that you want to choose for your research for the next class. That's all. That's your uh, only assignment that you have. That you can. Uh, I, I ask you to give me uh, the subject. And then, uh, in which area do you want uh, to have a research? Okay, uh, please uh, tell me for next session. Or if now you have, you can talk about it and discuss it. Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much. I got it. Thank you very much. All right. All right. You are welcome. So uh, I ask other uh, students that uh, mentioned the uh, uh, message in the chat room if the, their points are important and they want to uh, have the answer of this uh, point that they do uh, they write in the chat please ask me now because uh, i don't know i cannot uh, it's not easy for me that uh, read from the chat room but okay so if you have any other question or discussion or anything else, you can ask me now.
Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any other question or discussion that you want to propose now? Okay, uh, I didn't uh, receive any response, so I think uh, everything done. All right. Uh, okay, uh, one of the students, Mr. Zalmoy, asked me, how do you rate our research paper? Uh, okay, um, don't uh, think about the uh, I don't know, uh, mark and rate and something like this. Uh, I just uh, ask you and want you to do your job right. Uh, when you are in the right way, it's okay for me. Uh, I don't expect to you that uh, do very well uh, research very completely and uh, without any uh, mistake or without any uh, wrong thing. No, I don't expect you something like this. I just uh, want and try uh, to uh, put you in the right way. That's all. That's uh, the aim of this class, that a student knows uh, how to uh, start their research uh, and how to do it. Uh, that's all. Uh, we don't think about the very complete uh, research. I don't ask you to publish it, no. Uh, just I want and I try uh, to present a slide uh, to teach you and to discuss with you uh, that uh, you uh, only be in the right way. It's enough for me if you do this. Uh, so don't worry about some um, things like this, spread and mark, it will be okay. Okay, uh, but... Uh, as uh, Mr. Zalmay, as uh, Mr. Zalmay uh, mentioned that professional person, uh, how the expectation? Uh, okay, uh, it is very good point that Mr. Zalmay mentioned. Uh, of course, um, I uh, need your background as I ask you to email to me your background uh, about education and job. Uh, so. Uh, I uh, think about your, uh, you know, qualification, and then uh, I see your uh, research, uh, and then compare with this. Uh, but the other point that I will uh, consider uh, is that uh, from the first, uh, where we, uh, where, uh, where, where are you? Where are you at the first uh, stage? And where are you? Uh, where uh, will you? in the last step, okay? I just uh, think about your progress, uh, okay? Uh, so if, uh, for example, uh, one of the students at the first stage uh, has a very good copy, uh, has a, everything is clear with him or her, yes, at the end, uh, I uh, uh, expect that um, he or she has a complete uh, research, but uh, if uh, you or uh, other uh, student uh, doesn't, uh, I mean, uh, from the first step, uh, they don't uh, know how to start, they don't have any experience about doing their research. I just think about it and consider their progress, their improvement. Uh, so don't worry about it, uh, don't worry about this uh, issue. Uh, we just uh, hear uh, that uh, can, you know, uh, have that, sorry, Computer got problem. All right, uh, we are here just to share our knowledge uh, and our experience, and just we want to improve. Uh, me also, I want to improve also, and then I want uh, to get many points from you. Uh, so think about how can we progress. Think about how can we improve. That's all. That's all point that I can. So 
any other student if have any comment or suggestion or question can can ask me now. Okay, uh, I think uh, everything done for this session. Um, I'm I'm very glad uh, that we have this discussion together uh, today, and I hope uh, we can uh, have a very uh, we can have very good class and um, can uh, finish this course with lots of uh, good experiences. Uh, I hope you can have very good uh, research. Uh, so don't hesitate uh, to contact with me. Uh, I will answer your email, uh, and I ask you to send your email to me, uh, that I can uh, send the, the slides of today. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good time. Uh, goodbye. See you next uh, session in next Monday. Good luck. All the best for you. Thank you. Bye.